One fault that could make this motor not to work is when there is an open circuit in any of the windings. Open circuit means that there is a break in any of the cores. If there is a break in one of the cores, what will happen is that the motor will not function. It may hum, but it may not be able to rotate. Okay. If we want to test to ascertain the continuity of all the windings, then we have to do what we call the continuity test on the windings to make sure that all the windings are continuous. So in this particular motor, you have three wires that are the beginning of the windings, and then we have three wires at the top. That is the end of the windings. Okay, so in this case, we can see that the wires are colored. So we have red, we have yellow, and then we have black. So we expect that this red is the beginning of the first coil, and this is the end of that coil. Then this yellow is the beginning of the second coil, and this is the end of that second coil. Then the one colored black is the beginning of the third coil, and it has its end at the top here. So we want to check if all the coils are continuous so that we are sure that whatever problem we are having is not as a result of an open circuit in the motor. We need an ohmmeter to do the continuity test. This is a multimeter. It can also be used to test for continuity. All right, but first of all, we have to set it to the continuity setting. All right, so I am expecting that if a winding is continuous, I should have a reading like this. That is zero on the meter. So let's start. So because they have colored the ends here, we, we, are, we can easily identify that if this is the beginning of a core, this should be the end because they are all colored red, red, yellow, yellow, black, black. Okay, so we quickly test between the beginning of the coil and then the end of the coil here like this. Okay, and you see a reading of zero ohms. All right, then we go to the second <coughs> coil. This is the beginning of the coil, and then this is the end of that winding or that coil. And then it's also reading zero ohm. So it means it continues. Okay. Then we go to the third coil. This is the beginning of the third coil, and this is the end of the third coil, black, black. And it's also reading zero ohm. So it means <clears throat> the windings are continuous and there is no break in any of them. All right. Now, another, <clears throat> another possible um, problem that could also occur in the MUTU is what we call the short circuit fault, where your breaker, the breaker controlling the MUTU, will trip off anytime you switch on the MUTU. If it's happening like that, then it means there is a short circuit problem. Now, if you want to check if there is a short circuit fault in the MUTU, then you will have to carry out insulation resistance test on the MUTU windings. I already have a video on how to do insulation resistance test on electric motor. Please do well to watch.